Lord Rucker, you talked today about the need for uh, the agriculture bill to be tabled by the government very soon. Um, what should be in it first and what should be the timetable for its publication? Well, the government's promised the bill. We should have already had it by now, but there's no sign of it appearing at the present time. Uh, what should be in it? Well, there's a lot of detail, but one, should, one thing that should be in it, agriculture and food production is a devolved issue in the United Kingdom. And really, it, they owe it to the governments of Wales, Northern Ireland and Scotland to ensure that they are fully in control of what comes back from Brussels, because it's not in the withdrawal bill. They also probably got to put the financial subsidy arrangement in because um, farmers need support. Not all of them. The grain barons don't. But, and support done in a way that improves efficiency. But certainly the hill farmers in the less favoured areas need to have a guaranteed financial support. That's, that's got to be in the bill for a start. Otherwise we'll end up with wilderness and decimated industry. The mood is likely, in your view, to change over the next few months on uh, the potential economic damage that could result uh, from Brexit and that you thought that opinion polls might start to shift potentially in favour of a, another referendum. What, what, what would you say the likelihood of that is? Difficult to say, but as I said to the meeting, it's never too late to avoid making a bad decision. And we made a partial bad decision on the 23rd of June, 16, the ramifications which are only now becoming apparent. I think by this summer, the penny will have dropped on the British public that the damage to the economy, the damage to jobs, the damage to our young people's future, the damage to our trading arrangements and to the profitability of the country is so enormous, they might say, hang on a minute, we want to take this decision ourselves. We want to take it based on what we know now, not on what we were told on referendum day. I'm confident the House of Lords will amend the bill to send it back to the Commons, they're the elected body, they have the final word, to say the British people should have the final choice.